And now we are facing a new reign, King Charles III. The monarch still has a significant role in England in terms of setting the terms of the debate, affronting Britain to the world. And it is as well to remember that he may well not turn out to be the Najeshi, but still he has gone out of his way to make positive remarks about Islam. Everybody knows this. He likes Islamic gardens, he likes Islamic art, he likes Islamic textiles. And he came to Cambridge years ago, not an official visit. He wanted to talk about the Qur'an. There's a lot of sense in the Qur'an, I heard him say. He could have talked about anything else in the university, but that was what was interesting to him. God has taken him on this particular journey that overcomes this stupid binary, East and West, Muslim, non-Muslim, immigrant, all of that. He wants to overcome it, and that deserves some credit. Why should we not give him credit for thinking outside the box, for courting controversy? But he does it. Ten years ago, the Daily Mail got very angry when it turned out that Prince Charles had been learning Arabic. Why did he want to learn Arabic? Just so he could go to the Gulf and sell typhoon fighters or something? No, he said it was so that he could understand the Qur'an. How many people in Parliament would do that? There's something about lineage and...